Hey, man, ready for me lunch? Oh, I've seen one client, Carla. I've got another till two. Well, maybe you could do a stock check or even the washing or... Audrey, please don't have a phone. Us women, we have to stick together. Oh. Morning, all. Not interrupting, am I? Only a very pointless conversation. Anyway, yeah. Uh, how are you today? All the better for seeing you. Um, I wanted to ask you if you're free for lunch. I certainly might be. Good. Rovers? Just give me 15 minutes. I'll see you there. You sly dog. What? Oh, just a friend. Just... Grand. I'm busy, David. Are you going out with Mark? Going out with Mark? No. But anyway, that's my business, thank you. I'm sorry for caring. Oh, now, I'm a big girl, sweetheart. Well, I know there's not much choice at your age, but come on. Excuse me. Well, you know, you, you're well preserved. You don't have to jump on any bus that comes along. Uh, like you did, you mean? What? Well, just because you chose the creature from the Black Lagoon doesn't mean the rest of us will. <laughs> Team, we're not cooking, David. End up. Right, well, I'll do it then. Defrost first. Is this defrosted? No. Sack this. Come on, we'll go to chip it. Hiya. You're not due to take over till three. Sweetheart, I have got a surprise for you. You finally fixed the washing machine. Better. Hello. Hiya. Amber. How lovely to see you. Dad told me you were back together. Yeah, yeah well, uh, a lot's happened since you last year. Yeah, well, I gave her the short version, didn't I? I'll get this. Anyway, you look really well. That bit of extra weight suits you. Oh, yeah. you look well too, David. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> well, you know, you look different. I'll take it, that's a compliment. It is, it is. <laughs> I'm Kylie, his wife. Really? Is this the same David Platt who said he'd never have a ball and chain? <laughs> She's... Not a damn chain. Mm, trouble and strife, then? Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. We've got to go. Keep your eyes and hands to yourself, yeah? I'm telling you, that's my charger. It's got it from a bedroom. No, because you took it from there, upstairs, last night. Is there any more milk? Can you just sit down, shut up, and eat your breakfast? Yeah, well, Mummy, he's nicked my charger. Can somebody get that, please? David, milk. Oh, being that pigsty you call a bedroom, it's like a black hole sucks everything in. Phone! Oi! He got that for me. Milk? Can I keep our bedroom bed tidy? Oh, yeah, right. It's like the back room of a charity shop in there. Kylie, it's for you. I'm sorry, not all of us have got your obsessive compulsive G. Matching all your socks together and hanging your clothes in matching colours. Yeah, it means I don't lose anything. Unlike some. Ah, as much as I love to stay and enjoy this warm family breakfast, some of us have got work to do. Bye, Mum. See you later, love. Bye. Who's that? Oh, credit card's maxed out. They won't pay in. And what's new? I'm off for a shower. See you at work. David, where have you been? Not now, Grant. <laughs> when were you going to tell me? What are you on about? Were you even going to tell me at all? Look, I don't know what Max! That call you got this morning from social services. How do you know about that? Keep your voice down. What's the matter? She's the matter. Her son's whole life has been discussed tomorrow at an hearing whether they adopt him or not, and she doesn't even care. I care. He's fed, clothed, and looked after. And whoever they put him with will do that a hell of a lot better than I can. It's not just you, though, is it, Kylie? I'm your husband. And we've got Mum, Nick, and Gran who can give him a better life than anyone can. Do you know why? Because he's family. Oh, pack it in, will you? He's not to do with you. Having a kickabout in the garden and building a Lego castle don't make you his dad. I don't get you. Do you not want that little boy in your life? To bring him up around people who love him and give him everything he needs? No, I don't. I've made my decision. I want the social services to get him adopted. And if you don't like it, you know what you can do. You don't mean that. Don't I? Not really. I don't want Max. What is it about that you don't understand? Pretty clear to me. Stay out of this! Oh, look, come on, Maria. Let's give them some space. What about Mrs. Oliver? Oh, she can't hear. She's under the dryer. Look, I understand why you didn't tell me. You struggled with Max, but it's different now. You're not listening! I know you're scared. The only thing I'm scared of is having a kid I don't want. How can you be so heartless? Because that's what I am! A heartless cow! So get used to it or get out of my life! <laughs> 